Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally going to discuss the potential increase of the standing capacity at Celtic Park. We're a wee bit late to the party with this one, but I feel like we should discuss it anyway. We're going to look at the opinions of people who are very much for the idea of it, and we're also going to look at the opinions of people who are very much against the idea of it. And overall, I'm going to give my opinion and what I think would be the best move for Celtic and its supporters. There has been a campaign started, but what's going to happen? Will we see the expansion of standing capacity at Celtic Park? If you haven't already, please make sure to hit like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Obviously, a big week on the channel as we build towards that League Cup final on Sunday, so stick around for all the content and, and the lead up to that. But today, I thought it was time we finally discussed that campaign that was launched on Friday in regards to the expansion of the standing section at Celtic Park. One that I think a lot of fans are welcoming with open arms. I'm going to try and look at subjectively. Um, from now until I give my opinion because I want to discuss the pros, the cons, the stumbling blocks that may be in between and then I'll finish off with what I, my opinion is but it's, it's about time isn't it? I think that this has been bubbling for a while, people have wanted to see more um, availability in regards to the standing section with the opportunity to, to join in um, and, and this campaign launched on Friday, be it a surprise, I didn't expect to wake up and see it, I think it's one that was you know, it was definitely overdue and it was going to happen inevitably at some point. So we're going to try and discuss it all today, um, looking at it from, from both sides of the fence. But aye, very interesting times at the club. For ages, I have had people in live streams and Q&A videos and, you know, for the last five or six years asking when will we see an expansion to the standing section at Celtic Park. It has always been one of the main questions on the minds of Celtic supporters. You see it coming up as well at every sort of AGM or fan forum event. Someone's always going to ask the question, when will there be an expansion to the standing section? I don't want to call it exclusive as if it's some club that you can't get into, but Celtic is a club that has been very lucky, the first club in Scotland, to introduce a safe standing section within the, the stadia. Uh, and we've been lucky to have that, you know, kind of resonate through the stadium with its atmosphere and make Celtic Park an, an even better place in terms of atmosphere. It's been fantastic. However, the current standing section only hosts 2,700 people. It's located, obviously, in the north cove of the stadium where the Green Brigade are housed and other supporters. But it's small. It's, there's no denying it. It is a small section, be it a great introduction to safe standing and, 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 you know, it's done a great job so far. I think there's so many fans in the stadium and so many season ticket holders and people on the waiting list for season tickets who would love to be a part of the standing section who, who can't quite get in because, well, the people who are there, they're not going to move. You wouldn't give up your ticket in the standing section. If you've got it there and you want to be there, you're keeping that for life. So is it about time that Celtic explore the opportunity of expanding the standing section at Celtic Park? I think for many supporters, that seems to be the case. And with this new campaign that was launched on Friday, it's looking like there's a real possibility of a bigger standing section coming to Celtic Park soon. As I said, there's pros, there's cons, there's stumbling blocks, there's discussions to be held. It's not as clean cut as season ends during the summer, we're getting a brand new standard section. We're going to talk about it all in this video. However, it's good to see certain fan groups coming together now. Uh, to try and launch this campaign and spearhead a movement to, to get in a bigger standing section at Celtic Park. I think I've already given away my stance on it. I would love to see a bigger standing section at Celtic Park and I'll come on to why later. But I think this is the case for many Celtic supporters now and, and this is what's tried to be drilled through with the new Celtic End campaign. So what is the Celtic End? What is the aim of this campaign? That is the question. Well, Here's the words of the campaign itself on the website. What is the Celtic End? The Celtic End is a campaign to turn the traditional Celtic End of Celtic Park into an iconic stand famous for its vocal and visual support of Celtic. The best possible example we can give you of this is Borussia Dortmund's famous yellow wall. Why is it needed? 
Why is it needed? Well, this is what the, the campaign is set out to try and outline, and this is what they want to try and drill across to as many Celtic supporters, even those who aren't on the same side of the fence as us who want a, a bigger standing section. They want to try and drill through why this would be a good idea for the club. So I think that the examples that I'm about to list, given by the Celtic End campaign, are basically the best way that I could put it myself. I think these are the best examples, the best list of reasons as to why we should look at this opportunity if it was a possibility at Celtic Park. They say that most iconic stadiums and clubs have famous and traditional ends which colourfully support their team. Sadly, Celtic Park lacks such a stand. The current standing section only holds 2,700 with a similar number on a waiting list. Boys Celtic currently occupy the opposite corner and are growing in number. On European nights, most of the Lisbon Lions end will stand at Hamden, the entire goal end, and usually more will stand. And given the option, we believe tens of thousands would choose to stand at matches, and we believe this would transform the atmosphere and Celtic Park for the better. And the aim being, basically, they want to cater for all, and importantly, produce the best stadium atmosphere in one large, united standing section. We believe the natural place for this is the traditional Celtic end, although our vision is a full stand, lower and upper. The lower stand is the natural starting point. So that's basically everything that the website itself gives uh, in relation to outlining the, the goal of this campaign. Uh, and it's obviously with the hope that Celtic will look at it, they'll realise that there is a hunger for this, and maybe it's something that they can act upon. Um, we've seen at the weekend, for example, against Aberdeen, a great wee display from boys over in the opposite corner of the stadium, which was nice, it was retro, it was it was great, but it was housed in that wee corner, and just like all of our kind of TIFOs and all of our displays, whether it's a Green Brigade, whether it's boys, they're, they're, they're only in that sort of corner of the stadium. As you think about the possibility of something like that across an entire stand, and the example they give of the yellow wall, it would be fantastic for Celtic, and, and we have the fans, we have the stadium, we have the history, to really make ourselves one of the best sides in Europe in terms of that, the colourfulness, the atmosphere, we could take it up another level, and you think about nights like European nights, the, 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 the kind of improvement that a full stand, stand and section could give to Celtic Park, it would be unbelievable. So let's talk about the technicalities of it first before I get into any opinions and we look at the pros and the cons. I've also got some of your guys' opinions to get involved in the video as well. 13,000 is the capacity uh, in the Celtic end. Both goal ends host about 13,000, which you would imagine is roughly split between two and upper and lower. So you're talking maybe six and a half, seven thousand 7,000 seats in uh, one, uh, each tier at the goal end. So the aim is to obviously change that from seats into full safe standing, uh, both in upper and in lower. Now, they did outline, they think that the lower stand would probably be the starting point, and I have a feeling, if I was to go off my own instinct, that it would maybe begin and end with only the lower tier. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that would be the case. But ultimately, you're talking about the potential for 6,500 extra safe standing options. You know, on top of the 2,700 we already have, it would be a drastic rise um, in opportunity for the fans who want to be involved with a, a safe standing section. So I think one of the concerns that people have is the capacity itself. You know, will it reduce the capacity of Celtic Park? Would people have to lose out on tickets? Does it become harder to get tickets? I don't think that's necessarily the case. I've seen that as one of the main concerns. Now, what I'll say is, I went to Stamford Bridge a couple of years ago. We went on a tour uh, where we were down in London, and they were getting safe standing uh, installed at a section of the stadium at that mo moment in time. And yes, it did actually reduce the capacity of Stamford Bridge. I think they lost a couple of hundred seats um, due to the installation of, of safe standing. However, that's not always the case. And in fact, there is the opportunity to even expand capacity with the installation of safe standing. It really just comes down to, you know, the technicalities within the stadium itself and the stand itself. It's got to be evaluated. It's got to be checked over. There's laws. There's, there's, there's obviously legislation to go over. There is... Nothing to say that Celtic Park will lose any seats with the installation of a full stand, standing section. In fact, according to the Safe Standing Roadshow, this is the official answer, when asked the question, can safe standing increase capacity? Yes, it can, where there is enough room and where the law allows it. Um, obviously, there's examples in Europe, uh, specifically Germany, where we're seeing these fantastic full stand, standing sections, which have brought so much life into the stadiums. I've had the, the opportunity to be a few stadiums in Germany now, and most recently, even PSV and Eindhoven in Holland. 
uh, and they had a full kind of ultras standing section behind the goal end, which was magic. You know, the flags, the the smoke, the the supporters, the sound, everything. And although that's not for everybody, it certainly does improve the atmosphere within the stadium. And it's given the option to fans who want to experience that to get that. So let's start with the pros. Let's let's start with the pros. I feel like after my last point, it's probably natural to start with the advantages of expanding the capacity of standing areas at Celtic Park. And the, the main one is atmosphere. It could do wonders for the atmosphere of Celtic Park. You know, we're lucky enough that we support a club and we go to a stadium which is one of the most renowned atmospheres, not only in European football, but world football. It's known all over in terms of the atmosphere it produces. But it would be magic to have that full stand similar to the likes of Dortmund, all these clubs in Germany and mainland Europe, if we could have that behind a goal, imagine a European night. I think in recent years, and I've been very open and honest about it on this channel, in recent years, the atmosphere has died a little bit when it comes to European nights. It's brilliant at the start of the game, we get going, 10 minutes into the game, everybody's sitting down, it's went a wee bit quiet, bar the, the, the already existing standing section. Now imagine that you could house 13,000 people into a standing set, a safe standing section at a goal end at Celtic Park. It would be electric, it would be crazy, it would be mad and people would love it. And I think that's the main advantage of, of what this could obviously bring to Celtic Park. The colour, the noise, the TIFOs. And I know it's not for everybody, you know, people always associate TIFOs and flares and smoke bombs with these sort of things and then it automatically gets associated with hooligans. I don't think that's the case, you know, that's absolutely not the case. I think it's just an, an example of fan culture, which might not be for everyone, but it is for some people, and it certainly makes Celtic Park a more colourful and, and, and better environment when it's done right. And the way to do it right is by accommodating the people that want to be there. You know, obviously, if we get this section, you're probably talking about a group like Boys or a group like Green Brigade being the, the front and centre showpiece of this, this, this standing section. And what it could do in terms of atmosphere, and especially over at the other end of the stadium, would be would be would be magic, you know. And a lot of people want to stand at the football. That's the thing now. There's the other pro. A lot of people do want to stand, and they're not getting the opportunity to because there's only twenty seven hundred seats available for it. I say seats. They're not standing on seats. You know what I mean? There's only twenty seven hundred spaces. I want to stand at the football. I'd love to stand at the football every week. But I can't. I'm in the upper tier of the, the North Cove and if you stand up up there, you're going to get something thrown at you because everybody's sitting down. But you look at European nights, you look at Hamden, you look at the Derby games, people want to stand. And if you don't want to stand, that's fine. No one's taking away that option. You know what I mean? There's still going to be seats within the stadium for people who want to sit down during the game. I know for a lot of older fans as well, it's not ideal to be standing for 90 minutes. Um, but, you know, it, it's something that's obviously an option. Um and obviously this is trying to generate that sort of interest. There's there's pro plenty of pros that come along with this. And I think that the other pro, and one of the main pros, is it's, it's kind of the natural next step in the progression and the development of Celtic Park um, in terms of where we go next. You know, this is a stadium we've now had for the best part of 30 years. Um, and it's obviously gone under some great developments in the past specifically the past 10 years with the the celtic way with the, the obviously the, the the safe standing section that already exists the banners being put up outside both goal ends of the stadium it's obviously went under a bit of a makeover and i think this is a sort of natural next step to make sure we are keeping up with the best of the best i know that it's not for everyone and i'm going to come on to the cons in a moment but if we want to be talked about as one of the best in Europe in terms of the club that we are, and if we want to be talked about as one of the best stadiums in Europe, which we know we already are, the best way to keep up with that and the best way to lead the charge in still being one of those is by keeping up with what is the best examples of modern football stadia. The best stadiums in the world are all over mainland Europe and they're involving safe standing on a bigger scale and Celtic can certainly be part of that. And I think it's important for us to try and keep up that image of being one of the, the, the kind of leading teams in, in terms of accommodating fans. So there, there is plenty of pros that come along with it, but I understand there are negatives too. The cons. It's not for everybody. People won't want to move. Now, I'm not going to sit here for a minute and say that I'm entitled to believe you should move if I want to stand. That is obviously not the case. There will be people who have been sitting in the Jockstein end of the stadium for years with their season tickets and they will be happy with their seats. They'll have probably made a kind of community in their seats. They'll have friends and they probably won't want to move. And it's not exactly easy. There would have to be a deep consultation with fans, with the club, in regards to what happens with these people if they don't want to be involved in the standing section. Naturally, the people who already are housed and already sit 
in the Jockstein end of the stadium, the Celtic end of the stadium, should probably be given the first opportunity if this becomes, you know, a, a, a realistic possibility. If this actually happens, they probably should be given first option, considering it's well have been sitting for however many years. But a lot of people just don't want to stand, they don't want to move, and that's a stumbling block. And you can't just obviously expect people to move at the drop of a hat. It would be very entitled, it would be very rude. That You know, there's obviously conversations that have to go on. I would love it if people realised... And, and, I, and were quite selfless in the sense they could go, okay, this is for the greater good of the stadium, a lot of people want this, I'll happily move seats somewhere else. But it's not as easy as that. We can we can sit here and be honest about that. It's, it's just not as simple. The other issues that we have, hospitality, is one of the hospitality sections of the stadium is in the Jockstein stand. With a full standing section, you're going to have to get rid of that. You're going to have to get rid of the hospitality seating anyway because I think the whole point of hospitality... And the whole point of hospitality seating is they want a comfy seat at the game and they're paying for this. They're not paying to stand. And they would have to obviously move. Now, we've obviously got a couple of hospitality options at Celtic Park. It's not the only one, but that would be another stumbling block, I think, because they sit at the back of the stand. They can't sit if people in front of them are standing. It's just a whole palaver in itself. So I think that that's probably going to be another one of the stumbling blocks. And the other con is, if not there, then where? Because you're just going to come across this problem, I think, in every section of the stadium. It's always been my idea, personally, that when the, the standing capacity would rise, that it would just be an exp expansion, really, to the current one we already have, maybe along the Lisbon line end of the stadium, but you're just going to run into the same problems. And that's obviously not ideal. There is people who are going to be stubborn, there is people who are not going to want to move, and, you know, maybe stubborn's not the word, you know, it's not my, I can't, you know, have, hold gripes about anybody who doesn't want to move from their seat, I understand. Um... But it is going to be one of those ones that consultation will be needed. It will take time, and I guess that's the con overall. The fact that you don't know how long this would take to actually be approved. And then, if it does get approved, is it meeting the satisfaction of everybody involved or just certain people? My opinion, overall, I want it, and I want it badly. I think that it could do wonders for Celtic Park, and I think it could bring back a lot of atmosphere that I feel like has maybe been lost in certain games. And I think that through experiences of being abroad in Germany and Holland and Italy, what I've seen firsthand from these sort of goal-end standing sections has been nothing but positive. And there's never been problems with them. Um, they, 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 they make it a magic time for those who want to be involved in it. I would love for it, and I hope that the people who are housed in the Jockstein stand can realise that and can say, right, or either I'll give it a go, or I will move elsewhere. And I'm not saying that's expected, I'm not saying that anyone's entitled for that to happen, what I'm saying is I hope that maybe there can be a general realisation of like, yeah, okay, let's, let's improve this place, let's make Celtic Park better, because ultimately, it is making Celtic Park better, I think. Um, but I, I can understand why, why some people are not all for it. I didn't want to make this video all about my opinion and just being my voice in regards to the, the potential situation. I wanted to get you guys involved. So I put up a post on the YouTube community section asking for your opinions in regards to the standing section being expanded at Celtic Park. So this is some of the replies I'm going to try and read out and I'll put on screen now. So Neve says, for me personally, I'm all for it. The North Cove is undeniably the club's greatest asset in terms of atmosphere within the stadium. So increasing the standing section would no doubt only make it even better, especially for Champions League nights. It'll make Celtic Park a more intimidating place to go. Thomas left quite a long comment, but I'll try and kind of summarise what he's saying. He says he sits in Jockstein Lord at the moment and he's, he's all for it, he loves the idea of it, but he sits beside his dad, who would maybe pose a bit of a problem um, because he might not be as much up for it. He thinks that maybe that Lower Lisbon Lions would be a better idea for it, considering there's no corporate or hospitality over there as well doesn't think away fans would really uh, affect it too much considering the majority of time there's barely any but he thinks that there's probably more people from the Jockstein lower that have been there longer than what there is people in the Lisbon Lions lower so it would maybe be an easier move over there. Mixu says uh, I think that we need to consider older people and people with less mobility in those sections who need a seat. Celtic needs to be for everyone. Adam says it has to be done. The older folk complaining at it, saying they don't want to be a part of it, were mostly a part of it years ago in the jungle. Let the younger and more passionate members of the support get their chance to replicate the atmosphere inside Celtic Park. Safe standing has been a problem for the club, purely as it's too small and the demand is too big. This will obviously help it massively having a capacity of maybe 8k instead of just 3k. Another Adam says legs are too sore after a hard day on the graft. I need a seat. 
And finally, Hannah says, bound to happen sooner or later. Would love to see it happen and have the atmosphere even greater than it already is. And then touching on maybe the potential run-ins we'd have with laws, legislations, council, etc. Will that be the biggest stumbling block in terms of practicality? There's the voice of some fans. Uh, I want to hear the rest of your points, uh, points and thoughts in the comments below. So feel free, obviously. It's something that, to wrap it up, basically, it, it's something that I think will take time and maybe a lot of luck in, in regards to actually happening i would love to see it happen but the, the the probability i'm unsure about because of the amount of people who would be against it and i think it's going to take time to get around the one point that stands out to me a lot there uh, that adam made is a lot of us as, as younger supporters people like myself younger than me and even just slightly older than me haven't had the opportunity to, to, to maybe have that experience at the football that a lot of the older guys did Obviously, people watching my videos were all different ages. and but Some people maybe got that experience of standing at the football, having a laugh, and just the atmosphere being even better than what it already is. But a lot of the younger support haven't had that. And maybe it's the time it's time to allow that opportunity for the younger supporters. Um, it's one of those points that I've seen brought up a lot. You know, I've seen people saying, oh, the only reason... Uh, the, like, we see a lot of people moaning about this, and these are the same people that caused all the problems in the 80s, and blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a lot that's going to go to happen. Um, as I said earlier, you can register your interest on the Celtic End website if you really want to. I already have, and would urge as many of you uh, as you can if you if you want to. But um, will that happen? Right, that's me for today. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Please don't get your knickers in a twist in the comments below. The point of videos like this is to give my own opinion and to invoke some reasonable conversation. I'm not saying anyone's right or anyone's wrong. I'm not saying you have to agree. It's purely open to discussion um, and I can happily play devil's advocate with those who need to or whatever but it's not that serious so don't fucking start trying to cancel me if you don't agree with me. Right? That's all I'm saying. Like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.